Hey everyone, today we will now discussing the last branch of the national government which is the judicial department. In this video, we will going to tackle about the meaning of judicial department, the scope of judicial department, the organization of courts, the importance of judicial department, the independence of the judiciary, and section 2 of the 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. On Article 8 of the 1987 Constitution on the Judicial Department, on Section 1, the judicial power shall be vested in one Supreme Court and is and in such lower courts as may be established by law. Judicial power includes the duty of the courts of justice to settle actual controversies involving rights which are legally demandable and enforceable and to determine whether or not there has been a grave abuse of decision amounting to lack or excess of judiciary. Moreover, the judicial power is to power to apply laws to contest or disputes concerning legally recognized rights or duties between the state and the private person brought up before the judicial tribunal. The scope of judicial power. Adjudicatory power includes the duty of courts of justice. It is to settle actual controversies involving rights which are legally demandable and enforceable, and to determine whether there has been a grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack of excess of jurisdiction on the part of any branch or instrumentally of the government. Another scope of judicial power is the power of judicial review. It is to pass upon the validity or constitutionally of the laws of the state and act as of the other department of the government to interpret them and to render binding judgment. The last scope of judicial power is the incidental powers. It likewise includes the incidental powers necessary to the effective discharge of the judicial function, such as power to punish persons and a judge in contempt. Next, the organization of courts. Number one, the regular courts. The Philippine judicial system consists of a hierarchy of courts resembling a pyramid with a supreme court at the apex. This is the arrangement of the judiciary branch. First class is the local trial courts, which is the municipal trial courts, the metropolitan trial courts, and after that is the regional trial courts, and after the regional is the court of appeals, and the head of all courts is the supreme courts. In the judicial department, there is what we call the Sharia District Court that has no jurisdiction over real action where one of the parties is not a Muslim regardless of the fact that it is decided the action applying the provisions of the civil code. This is the court for the Muslim people. This is the organization of courts. Number one, the re regular courts. The Court of Appeals now with 69 justices headed by a presiding justice which operates in 23 division each comprising three members. The court sits in bank only to exercise administrative, ceremonial or other non-adjudicatory functions. Another organization of courts is the Regional Trial Court that is presided by 720 regional trial judges in each of the 13 regions of the country. Another part of the regular courts is the Metropolitan Trial Court. In each metropolitan area established by law, a municipal trial court in every city not forming part of a metropolitan area and each municipality is not comprised within a metropolitan area and a municipal circuit. A municipal circuit trial court it's in each area defined as a municipal circuit comprising one or more cities or municipalities grouped together according to law. Another organization of courts is the special courts. This is the Sandigan Bayan. Is now with the 15 justices headed by a presiding justice which operates in five divisions in each comprising three members. 
This is was created by the Presidential Decree 1606 in pursuant to the mandate of the 1973 Constitution. Number two, the Court of Tax Appeals. With three judges headed by presiding judge, this was created under the Republic Act number 1125. If you are going to ask me, why is it we have a Judiciary Department? Now, we will going to discuss the importance of Judiciary. Number one, confidence in the certain and even administration justice. Number two, is to preserve or preservation of the government. And number three, is to respect for law and order. Now, the independence of the Judiciary. Number one, the Supreme Court is given the authority to appoint all officials and employees of the judiciary. Number two, the members of the Supreme Court and judges enjoy security of tenure. Number three, their salaries cannot be decreased during the continuance in office. On Section 2 of the 1987 Constitution, the Congress shall have the power to define prescribe and apportion the jurisdiction of the various courts but may not deprive the Supreme Court of its jurisdiction over cases. No law shall be passed reorganizing the judiciary when it undermines the security of tenure of its members. That was the last branch of the national government which is the Judicial Department. Again, this is Von Kirby G. Ragasa, a GAS 12 student of Bungabong National High School. I hope that you've learned something from this topic. Thank you.